archives are amazing and the job they do of preserving our past for future generations is vital. Archives collect and preserve documents relating to their local area and make them available to the public for free. By keeping these documents, archives make it possible for people to research their family history, the history of their own town or even their own home, as well as being a great help to anyone studying. They can take you on a fascinating journey of discovery. But many people are unsure of what to expect when they first walk into an archive, or even of what an archive actually does. If you're the same, then this is the film for you. The difference between an archive and a library is that when you come into an archive, you don't see the documents in the room that you're working. The documents are stored in locked strong rooms under very secure and uh, specialised conditions. And the point about archives is that each one is unique and irreplaceable. So it's not like a library book where you can get another one. Because of the need to preserve the documents under their care, archives have a set of important rules for visitors wishing to view documents. You can use pencils, not pens. Um, you're not allowed to keep your bag with you. You need to lock it away in a locker. When we produce a document, we advise you to handle it with care. Um, we provide you with support cushions and various other supports and, and weights and things to um, help you view the document. You can be sure that the staff will be friendly and eager to help. We're all very welcoming and it's not just the, the building being accessible but it's the service as a whole being accessible too and I think um, what you see in the building, the accessibility here, the ease of moving around the building is reflected as well in the attitudes of the staff and how welcoming we are to any member of the public who comes to the door. We just had a request for a document for someone in the search room so we'll go and get it from the strong rooms if you'd like to come with me. The lights come on automatically when you open the door and here we have air conditioning so the documents are kept at the right temperature and the right relative humidity. As well as storing documents, archives also do a lot of conservation work to keep them in the best possible condition so that the public can have access to them. The job of conservator is, is very important because uh, the public require access to these documents so if the public were to handle documents that are fragile, they might be left with a pile of dust, really. Quarter session rolls, these date back to 1808, and each one represents about three weeks' work in conservation terms. There we are, it's a couple of uh, parchment documents that have been uh, humidified and flattened. They've been hinged in using uh, Japanese paper, so that we researcher can see both sides but in fact they can be consulted without having to handle uh, this really does improve legibility and access to the public archives are still looking for more documents to add to their collections and you might be surprised at the sort of things that might be of interest um, it's incredibly important that people actually donate things to the archives. People sometimes, I think, mistakenly get the impression that only the official records are important and worth preserving. But the little things that we produce from day to day can be equally important. Things like people's photographs, diaries, letters. They give a very different perspective to the official records. But when you use them in conjunction with the official records, it's, it's quite an interesting mix, bringing different sides to the same story together. There are so many stories just waiting to be discovered in each and every one of the archives across Wales. So pop along and start exploring. But don't take our word for it. Here are some people who've already taken the plunge. Don't be put off, you know, making the start because once you, people who do local history research or they research their family trees, and once they get started, it, it's a joy and it's a pleasure. It is that friendliness. Um, it's not the building an archive is housed in, or even if it's open on a weekend, it's the people that run it. It's, it's a great experience, I mean, the staff are helpful, there's no need to be intimidated at all. They, straight away, they made me feel really welcomed, and I was there every single day when the library was open, nine till six. What I like is that you start off on one thing, but in fact you branch out into others, and sometimes you're just mesmerised by all the other things that you really didn't go in for, but they were so fantastic. Just interesting, the history. Mm -hmm.